Hello, I'm Mandeep Singh, founder of Mandeeps.com, and in this video we'll look at our new live rotator module. So let's get started. Uh, what I have here is a uh, default .NET Nuke 5 installation. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and log in as a host or super user, so I can go ahead and install the live rotator module. Okay, so now that I'm logged in, I'm going to go to host, module definitions. Go install new module. I'm going to browse for the new module. And you can download Live Rotator from our website. Uh, go ahead and unzip and extract the file you download, and within that, you'll find the install files folder. Just go ahead and click on the Live Rotator DNN5 version because we're installing on DNN5. If you're using DNN4, make sure you select the DNN4 version. So I'm going to go ahead and click next here. And uh, we'll continue clicking next until we get to the licensing agreement. Make sure you read the licensing agreement and then click accept license and move on. And that's really it. Uh, Live Rotator at this time has been installed and ready to go. So uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is place Live Rotator module uh, on one of our test pages. We call it Live Rotator Demo and show you some of the features of our new module. Okay, so I'll click on Live Rotator Demo, and we're going to go ahead and add instance of Live Rotator Module to this page. And here we have it. Maybe not. Let me click Add Module again. And there's our module. So when you first install Live Rotator, um, it's going to ask you which edition do you want to go ahead and uh, install. Uh, we have an option of Domain, Portal, Standard, or Enterprise. If you're not sure which edition to use, go ahead and click click on help me choose and it'll give you a comparison between different editions. For purpose of this time we're just going to go ahead and continue with the trial for standard edition. So okay here we have our live rotator module ready. The first thing we need to do is go ahead and add some content or slides to it. So we have this option called manage slides. Live rotator has one simple job is to rotate between slides and they could be their images or any HTML content. So let's go ahead and click on manage slides. The first thing you're going to notice, and we have the option to add images, content, or integrate Live Rotator with any other module. For for right now, what we're going to do is upload a couple images. We're going to also browse our server for images, and we can also use an internet URL. So let me first give a demo on how we can upload images. Let's click on Browse, and I have five Windows 7 default images here that I'm just going to add. Now you can do one at a time, or you can just select multiple, which I'm going to do, and hit Open. Live Rotator uses an Ajax-based uploader, so you can see your files get uploaded multiples at a time, and it's all done with real-time progress as well. So there we go. We have five pictures uploaded at this time. Similarly, I can go ahead and add images from the server. So if you click on Browse Images, here you can choose your folders, and there's all your uh, pictures in the, uh, in the server itself. So I'm going to go ahead and click a couple of these and hit add. Okay, so there there it is. We added two of these images which you can see right here. Um, you can click on any of the images to see a full version of it. Now we also get a warning up here and that is for best results make sure all images or slides have similar uh, width and height. Uh, the, the module is smart enough to detect that. It sees all these were right proportions but these are not so it will still work but it's just giving a warning saying that for best results you should make sure they're the same so for I'm just doing this for a demo purpose so let's go ahead and add an internet URL so you can add an image directly using an internet URL so for demo I have this one placed pasted already in the clipboard it's the Google logo so I'm gonna go ahead and add and as you can see the Google logo appears now as well okay so that's how really easy it is to add images to your module I'm gonna go ahead and delete these I added just to make sure I have I meet with the best uh, results so to delete an image you simply click on this thrash icon right here and that's it it's gone it's really that simple okay so uh, deleting an image is fairly easy editing is just as easy as well let's go ahead and click on uh, the first one and we want to give it a title so I'll call it koala and then I have some dummy text I'm just going to paste in here and hit enter 
and that's it we just added a title and description to that so let me go ahead and do that to all of them really quick and uh, for penguins and we have a lighthouse here and some flowers oops I forgot the description so let me go back there and add the description and I hit save so uh, that really is it uh, one more feature I want to show here is if you want to change the order of the slides the sorting order which one appears first you can do that here at this time too and it's really easy you just drag on to the arrow uh, drag hold on to the arrow and you drag the picture so if I want the uh, desk to be the first and penguins and I want the lighthouse to be last I can just very quickly do that and that's it so now that we have all our slides here and ready let's go ahead and click back and there we have our slider uh, I mean rotator already there which is fading by default from one slide to another All right, let's explore some of the options of Live Rotator, and this is really the best part of Live Rotator. Let's go ahead and click on Options, and what you'll notice is that a designer just appears on the same page, and you're not taken to a separate page to do all your settings changes. And this designer is really what you see, what you get designer. So if I want to change the width here, I can do it, and you'll see it changing at the bottom automatically. I can always go ahead and just specify a number directly. Same with height. If I don't like the changes I do, I can click on reset and they'll be automatically going back to the way they were. So we can go ahead and quickly add some padding. I can go ahead and make it rounded. Now the radius is a CSS3 function, so it only works in CSS3 supported browsers. Namely, it doesn't work in IE. We can go ahead and very quickly change the background color as well. And again, this is what you see is what you get. see I can query quickly go ahead and change that let me go ahead and move the design on a little bit here so you can see the color picker and there I can go ahead and change it to any color I want and similarly if I add a border to that I can go ahead and give it some color too alright so that's very nice and easy now we can also go ahead and add some background effects so let's go ahead and get rid of the border. Let's increase our padding so we can see the effects. I'm going to go ahead and add some of these lines. Now the nice thing about the effects is they work with every background color. So if I change the color, you'll see the effects remain there. And I can just change the color. Similarly, you can add background images. And you will see right there. And they're all shown instantly instantaneously on the fly. Now to keep the file size down for the installed file it only ships with four images but you can download a lot more images from our website in the forms and quickly install them to increase your library. Alright let's look at a couple more features for this getting started video. So let's say uh, we don't we just want the default uh, background. Let's go to settings. So we can say either rotate automatically which is every certain interval or only when I click on it. Well, like I said, all this is what you see, what you get. So any changes I make here, they're immediately shown here. So I'm going to say, okay, uh, rotate automatically, but I want it to do so every two seconds instead of the four. And let's see, we have a lot of transitioning effects here. So instead of fading, I'm going to say, uh, I want you to go scroll left. And we can see that it's now scrolling left. So just to make it a little bit more nicer, I'm going to go ahead and say, let's add some back in and out easing effect to it. And now you can see it's going to be a nice smooth animation going in and out. So that's really how easy it is to use Live Rotator. And this video is really, in a nutshell, just a quick demo of what it can do. Hope you like it. And check out the other video to see what these themes do and how quickly you can change. For example, if I just change the template one here, you will see the live rotator completely change how it looks and it behaves completely differently. Check out the other video on themes to see all the default themes we have. Thank you for watching the video and if you have any questions or concerns, please use our website to contact us.